I think that you will agree that the Land Cruiser 78 is not the most beautiful of cars, trucks, vans. And it's very old fashioned, uh, looks a bit like an ambulance. But this is easily remedied, and that is change the colour. I have two choices. Do I spray paint it or do I wrap it? And then I have about 400 billion choices. That's the number of colours that you and I can see. What colour do I change it to? Deciding on the colour for the new trippy. Join me now on my journey to changing its ugliness to beautifulness. It hasn't been easy at all and it is still not over. I say that. The decision to spray or wrap was an easy one. In 2011, I spray painted my Troopy. Now it's the time to experience wrapping a vehicle. Uh, today I went out and I, I uh, had my first test swatches put on the new Cruiser. I got to that point um, in terms of the greens by watching videos of my green troop carrier. I've been touring using my own Land Cruiser 78 Troopy that I've modified for camping. I, didn't, I don't necessarily want to do the same thing again. I could very easily do the same thing again. But I think I would rather do something along the same lines. A retro colour that Toyota used for some of its Land Cruisers in the 60s and 70s. And that's what that green one is. Five different um, colour shades off the PMS chart. So it's five optional shades. You can see the metallic in the back of the film. In the end of the day, there's, there's literally millions of different colours in the, in the colour gamut. So if you don't like any of these, you can always you know, slightly adjust one, change one, whatever. You don't really know what you're going to get by just looking at a computer screen. Because, I mean, really, how colour appears on a screen is not going to be the same as it on a vehicle outside. All right, moment of truth. First time we've tried to in. So firstly, looking at these swatches, there's some beautiful colours here that I think that would work really, really well. And the one that I quite liked is called Fashion Green. And it's there. Now that is actually quite dark when compared to the photographs of Land Cruisers in fashion green. Imagined that colour in the new true carrier and I thought well let's give that a go. So here if I look at the colour swatches that I used and here they are. But I, I mean that is a that is a real metallic, isn't yeah. it? That's a yeah. that's a that's a very it's... very good quality metallic. And as you can see, they look very different to how they looked on the Land Cruiser. Well, part of me is saying metallic's wrong for this yep. for this application. Yep. But the metallic is completely wrong. That's the thing. Everyone says, "Oh, uh, what do you think?" And it's like, "Well, it's not my car, and I'm not paid for it. I know. I'm not driving around, so it's really." Ideally, what floats your boat? I mean, and this is the beauty of it. You've seen metallics now actually on the car in the sunlight, and you go, no, definitely not. You take them off, we print it on, on normal models, 380, uh, and you have a look at that. You can have a look at a, a matte finish or a, a, a satin finish rather than the high gloss finish. The other alternatives I looked at was this one called Horizon Blue. I think it's wonderful. It's a beautiful blue. I could search for something close to that and I think I will find something. And this one is called Nebula Green. Again, I think it would work very, very well. Very retro and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Alright, we've taken them off. Uh, I'm going to try, I'm going to send them a couple more um, colour ideas. They were very excited about this new product that 3M has launched in that it is a proper metallic and it's actually printed uh, the metallic is on the back and then the color is printed on the front so it has this real deep metallic look and while it's not right for this they were excited about you know let's see what it looks like but I think you'll agree with me metallic isn't the right color 
for a bush track. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to suggest another range of colours. In a flat without the metallic, erring to the darker and see how we see how we end up end up. An alternative would be going the easy route and wrapping it in something from their colour chart but I'm not quite there yet. So here I am again about a little less than a week later they've printed up another batch of colours for me and I've added four darker colours even some greens very close to the green of my previous troopy. Along here? Sure. Flat bits? Yeah, flat bits will go there, that's not a problem. Much better. Much better. Much better. Now, actually, I've got another problem. Okay. What's that? They all look good, except for one. They <laughs> all look really good. <laughs> What's your take? I mean, what, if you I'm said, not sure. What, 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 what are we okay, after? I'm Sorry? looking for a retro Land Cruiser green. Sure. See, I don't mind either that one or that one. Yeah, I'm feeling exactly the same way. Yeah. There's something retro about it. And I'm thinking this one, slightly lighter than that. It is, it, there is a difference there. That's, and, that almost holds a little bit more green as well. And that with black, because we're going to do some black trim. Okay. Luckily, I don't need to make the decision this very minute. I'm going to go and show it to a few people. But I know what I like. In fact, I've made my decision already of what I like, but I want to bounce it off a whole lot of other people. First is Craig, the managing director of Sinorama. I'm thinking you're going to go that or that. Right, now the next person I'm going to ask about the colour is... Our special guest star, okay, Ronnie right. Dahl. Okay, I'm looking forward to this. Okay, the first two that caught my eye are these two. I reckon this one. You reckon that one? That one. Do you know why you reckon that one? Because it's exactly a, the same as my previous as, yeah, one. Yeah, the previous one, yeah. Like, that is... That's one that you think? It shouldn't be 574. Three, it should be... Um, ASW... ASPW. That's what the code should be. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that, yeah. For the trooping, okay. that one. That one. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to roll the car back and have all of these colours in the sunlight. I'm going to ask you again. All right. Oh, and now? I still think the same one. But as a second choice, now this one here is looking pretty good too. So it'll be out, out of these two. But I still, I still think that one. The ASPW green. <laughs> yeah, the ASPW green. Shall I tell you which colour I like? Uh, yeah. That one. It's the green that I was trying to get to. It was a, it's a retro green from the FJ40 Land Cruisers of the 60s and 70s. And I think that with matte or satin black trim edges, that's actually my favorite color. Because that, that is that very one? similar to my previous one was between those yeah. two, somewhere between those two. It is, but if you went this, I don't think the black would work with this. No, I, d I agree with you. But if you go black, then I think a lighter one. So perhaps this one or that one. Yeah. I hope I haven't made it more difficult for you. No, you have. Season. You've actually, yes. Oh, <clears throat> yes, you've made it far okay. more difficult for me now. <laughs> I had actually decided. Now, what I'm going to do, there's a lot of reflection from the bonnet. Mm -hmm. Even more than on the pre, you know, because of here. Yeah. So I'm having a, a black piece on the, the, the trailing edge of the bonnet okay. in satin black. And I'm also looking at doing something on the side with black as well. But I'm thinking that the black with that green will contrast beautifully. Gotcha. If, you, if you don't trim, yes. I reckon the dark one. If you do trim, I don't think the dark one's going to work with a black trim. You could probably trim with something else, but then it might look a bit funny. So now I'm home, and I've got to ask the people that really matter. I'm so glad he's got his priorities right. Oh. Oh, wow. I do love this so much. I 
hate it. I hate it. I hate it. No. 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 This one is gorgeous. You like that one? I love that one. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You don't like this one? Uh, it's, it's all right. It's because I know you. Maybe the darker one. Don't think about what I want. I, what do you like? Now, here's the question. Which one do you think I like? We all know you, Andrew. There isn't a person who hasn't watched your channels who doesn't know you. Brown, green, green and brown. Wrong. Oh, yay! <laughs> I'm so pleased! It's that pleased. one! It's <laughs> that one. The moment I saw it, the moment I saw it, I thought, that one, first choice, first choice, second choice, third choice. That's why we've Don't been like married that. for a hundred Too dark. years. Don't like that. Don't like that. That's why we've been married for a hundred years. <laughs> Alright, well, that's, uh, I think the decision's been made. I'm not allowed to change it now. <laughs> so, there you go. Being delivered. And, well, I've got some bad news. I will know what it looks like the day after tomorrow. But you are going to have to wait until I come back from my United States trip. Sorry. Hi, my name is Kate White. You probably know me already if you keep up with Forex Overland and you watch Zambia or some stuff in the Richtersfeld. I've really, I've been in lots of uh, my dad's films. So I should be used to the camera by now, but I'm really not. I haven't even seen the troopy yet because I'm in South Africa, he's in Australia, so every single picture I get is just fantastic. He's just sent me a few pictures of some colour samples that he's been looking at. Um, I know that he wanted something kind of retro, um, obviously the old green is his... It is Andrew White's troopy and will always be Andrew White's troopy. It's a new Land Cruiser, new build, he should go for something different. I really love the retro theme and I haven't seen it yet, so... Hmm. Sure, those look cool. They're so Andrew Cynthia White, all of them, because they're all still so green. Oh my word, I can't actually choose. That one close up, I can't actually read it. 5625, I really, I quite like that one. It's not too grey, it's got a bit of green in it. The 5615 is quite nice. This is such a difficult decision, I don't know why he's given it to me because I'm just gonna suggest about three of them and he's still gonna end up having to decide. I quite like the one, that one, 5625, I'd say. That one's the one I'm going for. There's also... <laughs> ah! I'd go for one of those too. There have been a lot of comments on videos um, and I know he put out that post saying, asking for your guys' opinion, um, asking what colour you should wrap it and so many people were saying that his signature green like the old Troopy but I think he should go with something different. 